prior to installing the new damper motor, be sure to turn the disconnect switch to the off position. Open the latches by turning them counterclockwise. And open the door. Now the door is open. Loosen the screw on terminal block number one, letter G, and remove the wire. Now loosen the screw on the overload, marked number 96. Remove the wire and be sure to secure the wire so it doesn't touch anything. Remove the original damper motor by removing the two screws on the back of the motor. Remove the black cap and remove the wires from the original motor. There are four, a brown, a black, a white, and a red. They all come from the black SO cable. Once the wires are removed, remove the black SO cable. Now you must remove the cotter ring off the clevis pin where the cylinder meets the linkage arm. Remove the back cotter pin and sometimes you may have to beat that pin out. Once the pin comes out, drop the motor. Remove the long clevis pin from the cylinder and detach the motor from the linkage arm. In order to install the new damper motor, it may be necessary to apply some lubricant to the inside of the cylinder. When this is done, reach inside and grab the linkage arm and slide the cylinder over the arm. Be sure to align the holes on the cylinder to the holes on the rubber orange piece on the arm. Once the pin is applied, raise the motor and pull the motor to the right to verify the blades are fully closed. Once they are, rotate the motor if necessary to make the holes line up on the back of the motor to the back mounting bracket. Slide the clevis pin through the holes in the bracket and the back of the motor and verify the pin is all the way in. Then insert the cotter pin in the clevis pin. Now the motor is secured. Now reinstall the cotter ring on the clevis pin at the end of the cylinder. Remove the black cap from the back of the new motor by removing the two mounting screws. Once the screws are off and you remove the cap, you will expose the cams and the PC board. Rotate the outer cam four to five clicks counterclockwise. Now reinstall the wires. Please refer to the wiring instructions that came with the new motor. Once the wires are installed, it's necessary to replace the cap on the back of the motor. Insert the SO cable in the cutout on the black cap and install the screws. Verify both service switches are in the off position, which is in the center.
turn the disconnect switch to the on position. Now remove the excess door so you can visually see the damper blades inside the duct. Remove the small black cap from the back of the motor. Place the blower service switch in the local position. Once the blower service switch is in the local position, the damper will stroke open. Once the motor stops, with a flashlight, look in the side of the duct and verify the position of the blades. You will need to now place a one half inch nut driver in the hole on the back of the motor and turn one click clockwise at a time until the blades come flat and parallel. Now place the blower service switch in the remote position. Once the service switch is in the remote position, the damper will close. Once the motor closes, look in the duct and verify that both damper blades are 100% closed. Place the blower service switch in the local position. Once the blower service switch is in the local position, the damper will stroke open. Once the damper reaches the end of its stroke, look in the hole and verify both damper blades are flat and parallel. Reinstall the black cap on the back of the motor and reinstall the door on the side of the duct. Now turn the disconnect switch counterclockwise to the off position and reinstall the wire on the G terminal. Verify the screw is properly tightened. Now reinstall the wire on terminal 96 of the overload. Also verify that screw is tight. Once that is done, place both service switches down to the remote position. Now close the door and turn both latches clockwise. Once they are both tight, turn the disconnect switch to the on position. 